<clears throat> wow. Wow. We're here today to celebrate the life of Melissa Tolbert. She was born to this world on Friday, December 21st, 1979. She went home to be with the Lord Sunday, October 17th, 2021. We're here today to celebrate her life. The life she lived, the life she shared, the life she made with the love she gave. So I just want to thank you, everyone, for being here today to support the family in, in their time of loss. I've got to start by saying, Greta and Heather and Steve, thank you. Uh, it's, a, it's an absolute honor when someone asks you to come be a part of a family in this time. So I don't take that lightly. I thank you very much. And we're going to have a great celebration of life service today. Melissa had a zest for life. She loved going places. She loved traveling. In fact, Stephen and her said they traveled around a lot in the countryside, I was told. And she loved Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And who wouldn't? <laughs> Closest place to heaven, for sure. She loved the outdoors and nature. She loved animals. I think there was even a goat named Walnut, if I, I do believe. Yes, sir. Goat named Walnut. That's, that's pretty good. In fact, there was one time she went to North Carolina so she could get two dogs. She loved nature, she loved God's creation, she loved the outdoors, and she loved to travel. Melissa was a very giving person. Her door was always open to help anyone that she could in need. But above all that, the most important thing about her, she loved her family. She'd do anything for them. This family that she helped create is the family that she loved. And also, she had an amazing sense of humor. Uh, the family wanted me to give full disclosure today that the family has done everything Melissa ever requested for her service here today. They did it all except one thing. The family refused to play the song, Another One Bites the Dust. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been appropriate, probably gone too far. But you see, that tells you something about Melissa. She, she had a zest for life. She had a great sense of humor. It didn't matter. The cup was always half full. It didn't matter what the, the problems were. It didn't matter what the outcome was. She's the type of person that just kept giving love. She kept giving joy. She kept giving hope. And I was told that Melissa, she loved, she loved good music. Didn't really matter what genre. That's why we played a couple songs here today. She loved good music. Music that you could feel from the heart. It could have been country. It could have been a little southern classic rock. As long as it was good music. Melissa was, she was an amazing person. That zest for life she had that could just make others laugh, that sense of humor that, that she held. It, it brought everyone, you know, it didn't matter what your circumstances looked like, she could get through it. And it's, it's good to know today that, you know what, this is a grieving time. This is a sorrowful time. That, that's the truth. Our hearts are very heavy today. But we do have a hope. We have a hope that Melissa's not here today, and Melissa's not suffering today, and she doesn't have to worry about tomorrow because she's singing songs right now angels can't even sing, and that's the hope that you and I have, that one day we're going to see her again. That's what gets us through these, these dark times. That's what gets us through these, this grieving time is the hope that, you know what, while here on earth, she is gone from us, but it's not forever. This is just goodbye for now. John 14, a scripture says, Jesus says to his disciples, 
let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. If it weren't so, I would have told you. But I have to go to, to prepare this place for you. And if, if I go, I'm going to come back again, and I'm going to receive you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. And where I go, you know the way. Thomas asked him and told him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. So how can you say that we know the way? Jesus says to him, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. Melissa's well, home. She's happy. And she's up there waiting for us. She's up there waiting for us so that one day we'll be with her and we can have a huge family reunion. And Heather and Greta, I want to be invited to that one too, please. Okay. I just thought I'd do a couple songs today in honor for her and the music she loved.
I was meeting with uh, the family yesterday, and I told them that somewhere in the service, I was just going to have an opportunity uh, for friends, some friends uh, to ask you all, is there a story, is there a memory you have about Melissa that just, when you think of her, you think about that time when fill in the blanks. Would anyone like to share a memory or story about Melissa today that the family probably has never heard? Okay. All right. First Corinthians, it says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised, and we shall be changed. Then shall brought to pass this saying, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your sting? O oh, grave, where is your victory? And in the 23rd Psalm, a verse that we've probably heard ever since we were young and in Sunday school. It's always appropriate in times like these. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You're with me. Your rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen to that. I just want to take a moment right now and everybody just one second, just close your eyes real quickly, just for one brief moment. Think about that one time that, that you had that encounter with Melissa and she probably made you laugh. She probably made you feel very good. I want you to hold on to that memory and hold on to that. And, and when we're done with this service today, don't let this be the last time all of us get together. Don't let this be the last time that you talk to the family. Call them up in a week or two. Say, you know, I was thinking about you. You know, I was just praying about you. I know this is a hard time, but you are in our thoughts and you're in our prayers. You can open your eyes now. You will never know what that means to a family just that text or that call or that moment of, you know, I was thinking about you. I know all of us, we have some great days and we have some not so great days. I know when I'm ever, I'm feeling down, if a family member or a friend of mine gives me a call or sends me a text, I'm like, okay, okay, I can get back to do what I've been doing. I can get back. It's, you know, the road's a little rough right now, but, but you know what, That's, that got me through. Think about that when we leave here today. Don't let this be the last time we all talk to each other. Because it, it goes a long, long way. It really does. And that's, that's from experience. That's from experience. You know what I mean. Melissa was such, I'd just like to say a connoisseur of such great music that I wanted to do this one song for her. I hope I could do it justice. Um, I'm sure you'll recognize it. Let's just see how well I can be, I can play it here. This is for her. Would you know my name 
If I saw you in heaven Would it be the same If I saw you in heaven I must be strong And carry on Cause I know I don't belong Here in heaven Would you hold my hand If I saw you in heaven Would you help me stand If I saw you in heaven I'll find my way Through the night and the day Cause I know I just can't stay Here in heaven Would you know my name If I saw you in heaven, would it be the same? If I saw you in heaven, be on the door. There's peace, I'm sure, and I know. Tears in heaven will be on the door. There's peace, I'm sure, and I know there won't be any more. Tears in heaven. I just wanted to quote a very famous author today. His name was C.S. Lewis. And C.S. Lewis, he, uh, he kind of wrote the Chronicles of Narnia. One of, his, one of his quotes was called The Last Battle. And I thought it'd be appropriate to, to mention that today. It says this. It says, In all their life in this world and all their adventures, had only been the cover and the title page. Now, now at last, they were beginning chapter one. Chapter one of the greatest story, which no one on earth has read yet, which goes on forever and ever and ever, in which every chapter is better than the one before. Melissa's not here. She's began chapter one. And one day, everyone in this room, through Jesus Christ, we will begin our chapter one. So that leaves me to ask you guys, who was Melissa to you? Who was she to you? Think about that. Who was she to you? I dare say she was the music. She was the laughter. She was the forgiveness. She was the hope. She was the love. 
and she was always kind. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you one more time with hearts that are heavy. Your gain in the heavenly kingdom is our loss here on earth. My prayer is today to fill these hearts that are present here with your love and surround them with your comfort, O oh God, as we get through this time. In the Gospel of John, you said, Lord, you said this. You said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. And so we will be with the Lord forever. And today, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection through Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God Melissa's body. And we commit to you today, O oh God, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. May the Lord bless her. May the Lord keep her. May the Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious unto her. And above all, give her peace until one day all of us can be together again. And all God's people said, Amen. I'm going to leave you with an amazing grace. How sweet the sound. This concludes our service today. Before you leave this place, please make sure that you tell the family you're thinking about them in this time. Thank you all for being here today.